Welcome back. So now we have a REST API available, but how do we use it? Well, let's just go back to the, the, the GitHub side here, right? And let's scroll down. Development. We want to start development. Okay, so you need to run a Mongo to use this, um, this web API, right? So the first thing I'll do is I want to start my Mongo. Let's just start another terminal here and just go to my Mongo server. And I don't know where yours is, but I think mine is inside work. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's in program files uh, under Mongo. MongoDB, yeah, there we go. Server bin. Da, 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 da. We're in the bin folder, and I'll write MongoD and my Mongo database and double running. Now I just have to keep this one open, right? You have to keep it open. Don't shut it down. So now the Mongo is running. That's what he said here. Start your Mongo. Okay. Next step: run npm run dev. Okay. I'll just type that inside the other console where I just installed everything. npm run dev. Let's try and press enter. It'll start doing something and look at this, Nodemon is running and it's on port 8080. So we should be able to write localhost 8080 and let's see what happens. Welcome to the REST API Yeoman. Okay, so it seems that we are actually up and running now. Uh, whoops, I just want to zoom a bit so you guys can see it. There we go. Um, so it seems we're actually up and running here. Way. But, but what did we actually do? What, what else can we do? Well, let's try and see if we can actually pull out um, some other things here. Let's try and do slash movies. See if that's actually available. Can't get movies. Oh, I called it movie, right? And there we go. Now we get an empty list of movies. Cool. So it seems the REST API is running and we can even get all the movies. But what's in there right now? We have to figure that out next time. But the REST API is running even with Nodemon and everything is happy. We get a small tra uh, trace here of what we're actually trying to call. Look, we got a 404 trying to call movies. We got a 200 calling movie. So everything's running. I'm happy. Let's try next time just to change this and use Postman to figure out how we can manage the data. See you next time.